Hi guys and welcome to part 14 of the Blender Wally tutorial. So in the past uh, tutorial we built the, um, the hand and wrist area. Now we're going to finish off the fingers in this tutorial. So um, to go back to reference image you'll see there's this little tab that comes down there and also on the other side that we want to add into the hand. So um, we'll just go over into uh, edit mode and in face select I'm going to select this face grab it this one and this one and we'll just extrude that out a tad it doesn't need to be very far it's just a little bit and we'll make a loop cut we'll put it to that edge and the same then on the other side and again once to grab those two faces here Let's extrude those out a little bit as well so that we can create this hinged area that you can see there. Um, so this shape here is going to be pretty straightforward for us to create and then we'll do the, um, the fingers underneath which is almost the same as, the, as above. Um, it's going to be done in a very, very similar way. So let's go over to our top view. Make sure everything lines up, we're happy with that. Okay, back into object mode. And we're going to create a new cube, which we'll drag into place. Scale it down. To the left view. I'm going to want to scale in the Z axis to make this a lot thinner. As you can see, this is just going to be the, the tips of the fingers there. So actually, we can make this a little wider, I think. I'm going to grab the edges, so that'll be this bottom edge, this one and this one, this one and this one, and on the other side also, these edges here, I'm going to move those down, make the end of the hand here a little bit wider. Okay, back to my left view. So we want this to be scaled on the z-axis to be about the same width as the ends of the fingers there. Okay, then we can also scale it on the y-axis to get about the right length that the fingers are going to be. It's about the same length as the, the first section that we did from the wrist to the joint. So I'll use the top view to get the size about right. So we'll scale this on the y-axis I want to go a little bit wider also. So it goes slightly on the X. Okay, let's check now back of the reference image. It just tapers towards the end, so it's a pretty straightforward shape. And then we got this rounded corner there, which we'll add later. To, to create that taper, I'm into edit mode, select the bottom edge and move it up. Now I'll select this edge here, control B, and we'll 
curve it. Might want to go a little bit more. Like so. And then the one last thing I want to add in then is the hinge which runs along there. So um, back into object mode, create a cylinder, could be scaled down, moved into position. To rotate it 90 degrees on the y-axis pretty small And we'll scale it on the x-axis to get it to the length that we desire. It's going to be slightly longer than the hand. Like so. Go to our left view. Drag this down into place. Go up a little bit. Okay, so there's our hinge for the hand now in place. Now I'm going to scale it a little bit again in the X. I want to go slightly shorter. Make sure it protrudes at both ends. Does okay. Now we're going to join that cylinder to the hand, <coughs> so it's mirrored on the other side. And then this end part of the hand here, we need to add a mirror modifier to it. Select our mirror object. Move it on the x-axis. Mirror object will be the arm. The hand. Now move those apart. Go to the top view. Okay, so now if we apply that mirror modifier and we drag this into place, find that now we have this curved hand here. It might need to be a little bit longer, so I'm going to pull that out, go into edit mode, grab these two rear faces, pull them back, okay. Excellent, right. Um, now this is going to be mirrored. So we add a new mirror modifier. Our mirror object will be the body. So it's mirrored onto the opposite side. Now we can rotate this on the x-axis. And also we can rotate the hands. 
but we'll we'll position all those later after we've done the bottom part of the hand. It's just easier to line everything up when it's all out straight for now. So I'm going to go into time lapse mode while I create the um, bottom part of the hand here. It's done in the same way that we created the top, just uh, which is going to be a single piece. You can see here. Um, so we're going to create half of it, then it'll be mirrored, and then we apply that mirror modifier, then it'll be mirrored again to go over to the other side. So I'll switch over into time lapse mode while I create this, and that will conclude the um, building of Wally's arms and hands, and the end of tutorial 14. And the next part of the tutorial, we'll be starting on the mobility um, mechanism at the bottom of Wally here, which is the tracks and the various other mechanisms there, which help him move forwards and backwards. So thanks for tuning in. I'll jump over into time-lapse mode now, and I'll see you in the next tutorial, part 15.